What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Salute to everyone that's tuning in. I want to talk about Alfonso Ribeiro. I have two different articles here, but they basically speak on the same thing. Uh, this is more of a, a. This was as of yesterday from the Grio, but I'm going to read the one from Atlanta Black Star. An actor, Alfonso Ribeiro, I'm pretty sure y'all know him from The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. He's been doing a lot of things on TV. As of recently, he was on Dancing with the Stars. He's married to a Caucasian woman, and he is basically saying how that is keeping him from being fully accepted uh, by melanated people. And I'm here to speak in this video to basically say, who cares? But obviously he does. Now, I know he's not talking about black people in his everyday life. This guy lives in California, the land of race mixing. So he can't be talking about his everyday life. You know, I'm t I believe he's talking about social media and social media has become real life to these people. Not just him, but I'm just saying to a lot of these people, they have allowed social media to control their life. Listen, you shouldn't care about who people think you should or shouldn't be with. Because the main ones that are critical of your relationship would love to be in one, as we have seen. We've seen guys that are conscious, pro-black, the black woman is God, end up with a non-melanated woman. So we have to stop with this whole people caring about who I'm with and what they think that I'm conscious of pro-black, who cares in 2021? Most of these people are not as blackity black as they perceive people perceive they want the perceived notion to be and unfortunately people want to fit in somewhere i'm comfortable not fitting in anywhere but a lot of other people are not you should never care about people accepting who you chose to love that is a problem with our society but according to this article I'm in my own little world with support from almost no one. Alfonso Ribeiro opens up about living in a mixed world and why he'll never be fully supported in the black house. Bro, who cares? Do you? Uh, most Again, most of those people criticizing you would love to be in an interracial relationship. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air delivered laughs, tears, and life lessons for six years as fans look for it to what kind of hijinks or family drama Will Smith and his cousin Carlton Banks, portrayed by Alfonso Ribeiro, could find themselves in each week. Alfonso Ribeiro has felt punished for portraying the role so well that it stuck with him throughout his career. He still looks back on his time working with the cast with warmth and fondness. The America's Funny Videos host spoke with Atlanta Black Star about what allowed him and Will Smith sustain such a magnetic on-screen energy and how living in a mixed up world with his family has sometimes left him feeling a lack of support and his hopes for everyone to live in a world that they want to live in. I think we should all do that. And again, he's going off of how he's been treated, probably by his family. I'm pretty sure the people in his family that doesn't accept who he's with people on social media. Um, but I think that in 2021, um, there are a couple of different types of people. There are people who don't care, who are indifferent. There are the people that want to live in a mixed up world. And there's the people who um, low key want to be in a mixed world. They're not going to say it because, again, they want to fit in. But I, I just think that Alfonso's going off of probably his his life and who he is and the type of females that he has dated and how he's always gotten pushed back because whenever it comes to melanated men and who we're dating, we get extra heat if we don't choose a melanated woman and we can't just choose a melanated woman. We have to choose a melanated woman that is dark skinned. Tell me that I am lying because Alfonso Biro cemented his place in sitcom history with his portrayal of the preppy sweater vest wearing Tom Jones loving character Carlton Banks in the hit 90s series The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air starring Will Smith as himself. A central element 
of the show was the on-screen tension between Will, a cool, fun-loving Philadelphia transplant, and Carlton, a nerdy, privileged black conservative from Bel Air. It's interesting. They used to actually have black conservatives on TV and you know, on television shows. You will never see that anymore. Carlton blackness is frequently called into question by other characters such as black fraternity leader who tells Carlton he isn't enough of a brother to join prompting a speech from Carlton about how there is no single correct way to be black. While Ribeiro has always expressed gratitude for the show's success, the 49 year old has been vocal about how being typecast as a character like Carlton has made him feel ostracized from the black community because he has become a meme. Um, unfortunately for Alfonso Ribeiro, he has become a meme. Um, you see all these memes with Carlton Banks' character, and I think that happens. Um, when you play a character, especially early in your career, that's who people are going to see you as. So when it comes to other projects, people are not going to see you as anything differently. That's why you see characters go from making one type of film to another. You know, Robert Pattinson... When he did after he did Twilight, he did everything he could to never make another film like that again because he didn't want to be typecast. So he went and portrayed, you know, different types of you know characters and different types of films because he didn't want to be typecast. And a lot of characters do that, but it takes a lot of work to get rid of that stigma. And he just Alfonso Bill for a long time just really couldn't shake that. It still happens almost every day, unfortunately, Rebrio told the Atlanta Black Star about having his blackness challenged. I am in a mixed relationship and I get things and looks and comments constantly. And I find it very interesting because you see a lot of things on social media where people say things that people have positions and perspectives. And it's not easy to make that choice because you're not at home in any home. You're not at home in any home. I'm never going to be white and I'm never going to be fully supported in a black house. Rebeiro married writer Angela. Was it Unk Rick? <laughs> I think that's how you said it. Unk Rick. I, I guess that's how you said it. Who is Caucasian in 2012, which he said has contributed to his feeling like the black community doesn't accept him. I think the black community doesn't accept him because he's not a stereotypical Negro. He's not a stereotypical Negro. And that's what Alfonso might be alluding to. Uh, he's not a stereotypical guy. He really isn't. Y'all know we only mainly accept stereotypes. I think we're concerned with who's black and who's not. I just think people are just weird. I think they worry about the wrong things. Uh, there's no leadership in the black community, which is why we have no direction. So nobody knows what's truly black and what's truly not. I just think people need to find happiness wherever they find it. I mean, you see melanated women get praised on social media every single day for dating out. Like you had a, a black actress who begged her husband to, to marry her, her Caucasian husband to marry her. And he's the one out here bragging about this. But that gets praise. You know, she's not a pick me. But... People will go at Alfonso Bill because it's an easy target, right? Black men in interracial relationships are easy targets. But deep down, the same people criticizing him would love to be with a Caucasian person. Especially when nobody's around. In my own little world with uh, support from almost no one to be in love with someone I've fallen in love with, how does this make sense? It doesn't, he said. We all want to live in a world where everyone is accepted for being and loving and living the way that they choose to live. I will support any person that wants to live in a world that they want to live in. I live in a mixed world. I love in a mixed world. I live in a black world and I love in that world. I feel everyone should be supported. He can tell you, well, bro, you shouldn't care. You shouldn't care. And I honestly think that you got people who, again, are only criticizing you because they want to do what you do. You know, 
He implied that these perceptions have led to the BET Awards neglecting to invite him. Despite being so well known for the Fresh Prince, as well as serving as the current host of ABC's America's Funniest Home Videos. I laugh at the fact that I am mainstream television host, been in the game forever, and I could purchase tickets to go to the BET and I could purchase tickets to go to the BET Awards. So it is what it is. I'm not going to purchase the ticket, but at the end of the day, if that's the view they take, then that's the view they take. I can't change their mind. All I can do is live in my life, live my life, and be me and be the best version of me and continue to love everybody equally. Let it fall where it falls. Uh, let's see. Rabiro said, despite these uh, experiences, his friendship with Will Smith has not wavered in a year since the show ended in 1996. Well, we're friends before, so that helped a lot, uh, Rabiro said. We were able to play on set. We were able to not take things so seriously that our egos never get in the way of creating funny. The things that we learned very early on was if I, his straight man, and he gets the big laugh, we both win. If, if he's my straight man and I get the big laugh, we both win. I believe our success on the show was so great because we never stopped each other from winning. And that's how it should be. Um, listen, let me tell y'all something. It, let me just say this about the, the, the melanated women that are going to feel some type of way about who he's married to. Because that's who it is. Because I don't think black men care. You, you, you got the black simps that care. But the melanated women care because they want to be with a Brad. They want to be with a Caucasian man. And because a lot of Caucasian men don't take relationships with melanated women seriously, they end up back on the dating market a lot more and more. And they're so jaded that they attack a Alfonso, Alfonso Ribeiro because no Caucasian man that they want is, is really checking for them like that. Or if they are dating one, it's a very, very, very low key relationship that they don't take seriously. So what they do is they get on social media and they will go at it, Alfonso Ribeiro. They will go at him because they wish they had the type of relationship that it, uh, they wish that, that he has, that he's with a Caucasian woman that's proud to be with him. They want to be with a Caucasian man that's proud to be with them, but they never find that. So the next best thing is to attack melanated men who date out and are able to start a family. But I will say this, if you don't like the criticism, Alfonso, you don't have to put your life out there. Nobody's forcing you to do that. But I don't think you should give a shit whether people accept your relationship or not.